In this video, I'm going to go over the most effective Amazon book marketing strategies. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. And I want to make a strong point to separate the most effective ones that I'll show you and make sure that you don't waste your time with secondary marketing strategies because the drop off in effectiveness after the most effective ones is extremely steep. So if you are struggling in your book sales, really focus on the ones that are most effective. That's going to be a path to success. So there's a path to success and there's a path to struggle. And the path to struggle is the secondary marketing strategies and the path to success are the first priority. Okay. So I really want to preempt that because it's monumentally important. So I wanted to spend some time on this. So the most important thing, guess what? You're selling the book on Amazon. Amazon has millions and millions and millions of shoppers. Do not look outside of Amazon to sell books on Amazon. The strategies that are most effective are in Amazon, starting with Amazon SEO. Most books are discovered through people searching inside Amazon. That starts with finding the right keywords and making sure that you're targeting those keywords. We'll talk about it in this course. And of course, you can run Amazon ads on ams.amazon.com to boost your sales. If you're thinking, should I run Facebook ads? Well, that the native Amazon ads they are extremely effective because it's already people who are looking for books on Amazon and you don't need to look elsewhere. So the Amazon ads is the first ad you should try. Another thing that's extremely effective at sales is the Amazon recommendation algorithm. That algorithm looks at the quality signals of your book. Are people going through it? Amazon can tell because they can tell how many pages the Kindle readers are going through and they can tell how many pages they're going through compared to your competitors book and as you grow your standing on amazon as you make sales as you make your better books that people love amazon will start recommending you naturally but it's not without any work it's through quality signals we'll discuss that too later in the course We'll also discuss later in the course having a highly converting listing because if your book sells a lot, if people come on your book landing page on Amazon and it has a high conversion rate, Amazon is going to promote that page to more people because Amazon makes more money. And if you have a low conversion rate, Amazon makes less money. They're not going to promote that. So that also influences the recommendation algorithm. We'll also talk about how to increase your conversion rate. And of course, Amazon categories are also important for a number of reasons. We're going to talk about that, but they're not as much of a focus as the first four things I mentioned. If I was to direct you, I was to direct you to the four first four bullet points in this video. Focus on that as the highest first priority. And until you feel like you're really doing well on that and you've got the hang of it, keep focusing on that. Don't focus elsewhere because this is really it. If you manage to get this right, you'll be extremely successful and you'll be happy financially. If you don't get this right, it's a struggle. So once you get the hang of these strategies, you're ready to start selling off Amazon. A lot of people, they start off Amazon, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, starting there is the way to struggle. You might sell a few copies, but most people will not sell enough copies to sustain themselves financially or be happy with the financial results. But as a secondary option, it's great, especially that boosting your sales can help your Amazon SEO and recommendations. So of course, creating YouTube videos and running YouTube ads. YouTube ads are very cheap in terms of you can get pennies per view on YouTube ads, even if you target really good audiences. If you compare that with ads like Google AdWords, you'll be paying a dollar or two dollars per click depending on the, the niche. And same with Facebook, the ads can become very expensive, but YouTube views can be very cheap. And of course you can create your own YouTube channel that gets organic views. That's a really good secondary option to sell books. You can do all kinds of social media and run other social media ads. For example, I run Twitter ads. They are very cheap, much cheaper than Facebook ads. And again, this is all great. I don't want to knock social media, but you really want to do Amazon first because that's where you're selling the book. And then all these strategies after if you reverse the process, no good. So of course you want to start creating your own audience through a blog, through a podcast, again, through that YouTube channel. However, you can creating an audience gives you a source of sales that of people who don't just buy, but also have an affinity towards you. And they're going to be more likely to naturally give you better reviews, recommendations and reviews 
help your standing on Amazon and your own audience. They already like you. They already know you. They'll give you naturally better reviews and help you that way on, Am on Amazon. Of course, it goes without saying, if you have an email list and if you don't have one, grow your email list, promote that book to them. And of course, keep writing more books and all of your books can upsell your other books from right from the inside of the books at the end of the book. And some people are very aggressive. Some people do it from the front of the book, but at least from the end of the book, you can recommend your other books. And if you have products or services that are not books, you can also upsell your books there. For example, I have a coaching service and I often upsell my books to people who get my coaching. Not in a bad way, but if it helps them, sure, a good book is great. And of course, collect a lot of feedback from your book and write a second edition, third edition, because quality of the book will really help you. There's a tendency for us as creators to think like, the book is amazing. Every draft I've ever had, I thought, wow, this is amazing. It cannot get better. And then guess what? My clients had other opinions. My readers thought, well, this is wrong with the book. That's wrong. This could be better. So after I collected a lot of feedback and I improved the book, the book started selling better. It started getting naturally better reviews. So we are naturally biased as creators, but I'll tell you a rule of thumb is everything can always be better, even if you might not think so at the moment. So put a strong effort into improving your books it will make all these other strategies that I'm talking about here easier to execute if your book is better and better and better. For example, my best-selling book right now, I'm planning a sixth rewrite of it. And on the second rewrite, I thought it was great. When I launched it, I thought it was great. But I want to make it as best as humanly possible in the end. And I'm going to have a tenth draft eventually, even though now I don't know exactly what it will be. I know that's my goal is to keep on challenging myself to make it better. So these are altogether the most effective marketing strategies and the drop in effectiveness is really steep. So I really want you to focus on Amazon first and then the off Amazon later.